Saudi Arabia, possibly the world's highest per capita consumer of electricity, has embarked on a 25-year development plan requiring around 115 billion US dollars capital investment to meet the demands of a growing population. By the year 2030, the supply of electricity will increase from around 17,000 to 66,000 megawatts per annum, while annual water demand is expected to increase from 5.7 to 8.8 .8 million cubic meters. Legal reform has set the framework for an ambitious privatization program that allows private investors to develop a number of independent water and power plants, or IWPPs. Shueba IWPP was the first, and with a project value of 2.5 billion US dollars, it remains one of the largest IWPP projects in the world. The Shueba Water and Electricity Company, or SWEC, was established to undertake the development and operation of Shueba IWPP on a build, own and operate basis. The Saudi-Malaysian consortium has an effective shareholding of 30% from private Saudi investors, 40% from Saudi government interests and the remaining 30% from Malaysian utility companies. With their head office in the Alhamra district of Jeddah, this multinational consortium was responsible to oversee the design, erection and commissioning of the IWPP based on a turnkey EPC contract. The project site is located 120 kilometers south of Jeddah on the Red Sea coast, adjacent to the existing Shueba 1 and Shueba 2 power plants. Approaching the site, the first visible landmark is the chimney, standing at 150 meters high. It was constructed at a rate of 2.5 meters a day, using around 4,500 cubic meters of slip form concrete. To increase the load-bearing capacity of the sandy soil, around 40,000 stone columns and bore piles were installed to support the foundations. In less than two years, 100,000 cubic meters of reinforced concrete and 6,000 tons of steel had gone into the foundation works to support the power island. For the water island, a total of 75,000 cubic meters of concrete was used, a large portion of this being for the construction of dedicated seawater intake and outfall structures. A major component of the intake is the seawater pump house, which required a depth of 14.5 meters below sea level. The constant interaction with the forces of nature and the Red Sea made this possibly the most physically challenging area of the works. Seawater from the pump house is distributed through the plant using underground glass reinforced pipes. Seawater is used not only during production of potable water, but also for cooling the power plant and as a medium for reducing emissions. Many challenges were associated with the supervision of this complex project. Challenges that spread across a number of continents. To avoid potential impact on the erection schedule or the future reliability of the plant, the SWEC project team implemented a project management system using the internationally recognized ISO 9001 as a guideline. A comprehensive risk-based inspection and audit program was established to maintain constant vigilance of the works. With more than 11,000 welded joints on each unit connecting the boiler drums to associated piping works, it was paramount that a high quality of works be maintained to ensure success of the project. Shueba IWPP is configured into three groups, each group comprising an oil-fired boiler and steam turbine for power generation, each rated at 400 megawatts and four units of multi-stage flash evaporators for the production of potable water. The boilers are fired by crude oil, which is shipped by tanker to an existing jetty adjacent to the project site. 
A special fuel facility transfers the oil through five kilometers of pipeline to on-site storage tanks. The total capacity of the tanks is 330,000 cubic meters, sufficient for 30 days nominal plant operation. Combustion of the crude oil heats a number of pipes containing water, gradually converting the water into steam. The steam from the boilers drives turbines to generate electricity for both plant consumption and also for export to the grid. The link to the grid is provided by the Electrical Special Facility, a 380 kilovolt gas insulated switchgear that connects to the grid through four circuits of overhead lines. Exhaust steam is also used for the production of potable water. As it is directed to the multi-stage flash evaporators, at full capacity, a total of 12 desalination units produce 880,000 cubic meters of potable water daily. After going through a process of mineralization, the water is stored in three water storage tanks with a total capacity to store half a day's production. The first water was produced and ready for export to SWCC during the Hajj period in December 2008. In a world where there is an increasing concern for the environment, Shueba IWPP has set new standards. By the use of light crude oil, already sulfur content is reduced by 50% compared with standard fuels. To reduce noxious emissions further, the power plant is equipped with one of the most modern flue gas treatment systems available today. During operation, most of the particulate content is initially removed by electrostatic precipitators and transferred to an ash handling system. The remaining flue gases pass through a flue gas desulfurization plant, which uses about 24 cubic meters of seawater per second in a scrubbing process. The resultant emissions are maintained below World Bank requirements. The completed project is now one of the world's largest greenfield IWPPs, providing a sustainable, efficient and environmentally friendly supply of electricity and water to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia.